Guilty. Guilty as charged. Shameless Strava segment nabbing. Now then. It's been drawn to my attention. There's been a paving change. And because of the paving change, it just means that this doesn't have to endure the mud and the snot of a Strava segment. And it's now perfectly smooth. So I'm going to go and investigate. I'm just going to see if I can get both segments up and down on the shortest ride possible. Just because I can. Right then, a bit of context. <laughs> so that used to be a really, really, really snotty path. And uh, I know the person who's got the, uh, the climb, which I'll do on the way back, the KOM for the climb. But I don't know the chap that has it on the way down. I thought I had it for a bit, but obviously that's been nabbed. So it is an absolutely, utterly shameless thing to do, I think. It is just a little brisk ride out. I haven't got a great deal of time today, but it also isn't raining, which is quite nice. So I thought I'd just go and get a quick loop in. Just a loop from home. But this segment is right on the doorstep. So uh, I wouldn't condone it. I'm certainly not trying to promote it. And it's just low hanging fruit, isn't it? Right, we'll go and see if we can find a little bit more off road. And then we'll see if we can nab the segment on the way back. Right, so I didn't do it on this ride, but if you are hunting segments, you can use something on your computer. So when you star a segment, it'll actually notify you when you're coming up to it, all the times, your previous time, the KOM if you change it, and then it'll just give you an instant update of what the crack was. But I didn't star that segment, so I'm hoping that I got that one. And there is a downside to having the starred segment. It does put you under an awful lot of pressure. Sometimes when you're not feeling like having a dig, I do find myself halfway into a segment thinking, well, I'm quite close. Not being aware that, or not fully understanding that actually, the person who's got the KOM has maybe really ramped it up at the end. Um, and also on descent, it's a bit sketchy, but that's obviously down to our own discretion. Right, I'm glad I got out. It's a bit of a great day. It's like one of the worst days for GoPros. Very, very flat. But there's a touch of blue over there. There we go. Oh, would you like that? Oh, I'll puff now. Comment, like, and subscribe, and don't forget to share. And uh, yeah, see you next time. And I'm not sure if this is the best practice when you're on your bike. Anyway, I'll leave that up to you to decide. I'm trying to film myself. <laughs> <laughs>